Happy New Year, my friend. Remember the television show, The Beverly Hillbillies? Now, it's not a cinematic masterpiece, but the theme song, it has become an American classic. Most people know it all the way through. I want to recite just a few lines for you. Come and listen to a story about a man named Jed, a poor mountaineer, barely kept his family fed. Then one day he was shooting at some food, and up through the ground come a bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold. Texas tea. I bet right now that you're having a hard time not singing. Many people around the world know that song. It is the story about a man who was out doing what he did every day of his life, and something happened, unexpected good from God. And when this happened, he and his family were awake to the good that could occur. They moved from where they were, their entire family, to Beverly Hills. Being ready for unexpected positive surprise from God in 2012 is one of the major aspects of creating a truly wondrous life. I want to share a story with you, a story about Alex and Gladys McClard of Hot Springs, Arkansas. In 1928, their family owned the West Side Tourist Court in Hot Springs, Arkansas, and times were tough. It was not a good economic time in 1928. Even before the Depression came, a lot of people in Arkansas lived on an existence like the Beverly Hillbillies, whose story was originally set in the Ozark Mountains of Arkansas. Well, this tourist court had fallen on hard times. One of the people staying there came up to the owners and said, my wife and I just do not have the money to pay you for the last two months' rent, but if you will accept this instead of the $10 that is owed to you, we will give you our recipe for the world's best barbecue sauce. <laughs> What would you say? Luckily, they accepted the recipe. They went home and they tried this recipe for the world's best barbecue sauce. And in trying it, they discovered that they really had something. Now, I'm going to move ahead many, many years. In the sitcom that can be seen in reruns with Burt Reynolds, it's called Evening Shade, at the beginning, you will see a picture of an old barbecue restaurant. That is McClard's in Hot Springs, Arkansas. It is so famous that you might have seen Willard Scott there from time to time on the Today Show. This place, because of this barbecue sauce... Willard was there in person broadcasting the weather for McClard's, and he said it was the best barbecue that he had ever eaten. It's included in the book, Road Food, that features wonderful places to eat. Each week, McClard serves 7,000 pounds of mouth-watering hickory-smoked beef, pork, ribs, 250 gallons of spicy beans, 250 gallons of coleslaw, 3,000 tamales, and 3,000 pounds of fresh-cut potatoes. That famous recipe is locked in a special security safety deposit box at the First National Bank of Hot Springs, Arkansas. It's under guard. That $10 recipe changed many, many lives. God's will for you in 2012 is to live a blessed life. What can happen when you're out doing an ordinary thing in an ordinary day and it becomes 
extraordinary as you walk with God. You think that life is just going to be another boring day, and then the touch of God happens, something godly happens. If you're ready, if you're aware, unbelievable good can come from surprising directions from God. My friend, something good is going to happen to you in 2012. I'm going to share with you a problem that many people are having today. The problem is called tedium. The problem with our lives is that it has become tedious. Every day seems like every other day. It becomes boring. Well, you're sitting in front of a television screen on your computer right now. And I would like you to think that this is the foyer of God's house. God's home is the kingdom everywhere that you're in the midst of. And all we are doing is leading you into something that is already the truth about you and your life in 2012. What we're trying to do today is to lift you out of the tedium that you might have felt in life and help you to get ready for a miracle, a blessing in your life directly from God. Something really special can occur if you have the eyes and the heart open enough, if you're ready, and if you have faith strongly grounded in God good can happen. It probably will. It is probability percent rated at 100%. God's life is a gift to you in 2012. It is always ready to manifest itself in fullness as you accept the fullness of God's life. You keep your heart aglow with love for everything and everyone you joyously seek the highest and best that life has to offer every day. You strive to always be the perfect channel through which the abundance of God's good can flow. You keep your mind filled with positive and constructive thoughts. And every day you dream. Great dreams built on a strong foundation of God's truth. Every day. You give your best to life so that you can set into motion God's good that will bring the best that life offers back to you. You accept living as a glorious, miraculous experience, a spiritual adventure. Now those that wait for events to make the day unusual or special are missing the point and the miracle. Right now, this day is unusual and special. It has never been before. Think about it. Become totally aware. Life doesn't get any better than it is right now. We have recently lost the greatest inventor of our time, Steve Jobs, the inventor of Apple Computer. He was a true innovator. But he was also aware that the greatest miracle is life itself. Even an ordinary day is a miracle. Use this phrase often in 2012. Life doesn't get any better than it is right now. This prepares your mind for looking past experiences and appearances to find the good that you might have been blind to a minute before. As the old saying goes, in every cloud there is a silver lining. We have been told that the same symbol in Chinese for disaster also means opportunity. And in the very same way, there is a surprising, undiscovered good in this very day for you to find. It's a treasure that will never end, and its discovery will produce endless joy, excitement, and happiness in your everyday existence. Try 
seeing your life as exciting right now. Even the ordinary. If you're buying toothpaste, make it an event. You're going to make it an event because you know that it can be with God's exciting help. Now, practice does make perfect. Today, try to make some ordinary activity exciting in your mind. And you're going to discover a great secret that something becomes as you think it will become. Jesus said, I came that you might have and enjoy life and have it in abundance until it overflows. John 10, verse 10. There was once an old fox. Every day he looked through the holes of a fence. To him, the inside of the fence was absolute heaven. All sorts of lush things were growing in the garden. Well, the fox tried to squeeze through the holes in the fence, but he couldn't do it. So the fox decided he would starve himself so that he could get through. He went one, two, three, four, five weeks without eating. Pretty soon, the fox is the same size as the hole in the fence. He is as skinny as a rail, and he breathes in and passes through the boards of the fence. He smiles because now he's in. He's in perceived heaven. He eats his fill. He stays there for weeks and weeks, has a wonderful time in the garden, but he's getting fat. And he wants his freedom, but he can't get out of the fence because he's too fat. He decides to starve himself until he can have his freedom. So he goes through the anguish of losing all of this excess that he has on his body. And pretty soon, when he's half starved, he slips out to freedom. The only problem is he's so hungry that within a day or so, he starts looking longingly in the fence and says, My, I'd love to be on the other side. <laughs> well, so many times. It is like that in our lives. We think if only we could be somewhere else in our lives, then our life would be good. But the truth is, right here, right now, is where your life is happening. Right here is the now present moment time. Right here is the spiritual opportunity. And you will never have more opportunity than you have right now. Because, my friend, God is with you. And God can turn an ordinary day, an ordinary place, an ordinary time into heaven on earth. You've heard it said many times that life is a journey, not a destination. This is true. The good life is a direction in attitude not a destination. Everybody wants something better out of life. That's essential. And it is a basic drive of our soul. We are human beings who believe in moving on with our existence. We don't want to stay where we are. But I ask you to look at your life. If you are in a state where you're not happy with what you have, I ask you to discover and find the good in your present life and appreciate it. This will cause you to become magnetic for your God-given good. It will be drawn to you without strain. And 2012 will be one of those heaven-on-earth times for you. Happiness is like a savings account. Every day we have to invest in that one day. And a life is built one day at a time. What we have at the other end of life will be a large bank account that's filled with glorious memories of the days that we have lived. I wish you the happiest time of your life in 2012 with God's blessings 
infilling every moment.